How you doing? You all right? Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a topic that I've seen a lot through my mail, from people asking me, and it's is how do you get over somebody? What are the steps that you need to take to deal with the rejection? How do you get over the broken heart? What do that? What do I need to do to become better? And uh, and I've had a lot of experience with this. God knows I have, and uh, and it's so funny that people actually ask me because I'm a mess. But uh, I can tell you what I did. You know, I can't give you the blueprint to it. I can only tell you what I did and what helped me out. You know what I'm saying? And it all started with the first thing you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you purchase a gun and you find that motherfucker and you get to shoot their ass and you just find him and just yeah bitch yeah broke my heart if I can't have you can't nobody motherfucker have you bitch don't do that don't do that I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry don't do that don't do that because I can't get you out of jail I can't my funds is tight right now and I can't bail you out okay so don't be calling me like Brian yeah I shot that motherfucker. Yeah, I shot that motherfucker's lips off. Them same lips he used to kiss that bitch. I shot that motherfucker's lips the fuck off. I shot that motherfucker's dick off. And then when I shot it off and I saw him reaching for it, I kicked that bitch across the street just so he couldn't get to it. Yes, I did, bro. See, don't be calling me with that, okay? Because I can't do nothing for you by that time. I can't. You don't, you don't kill this motherfucker. Not unless you call me when we need to bury him because word is born. I'm there. I'm there with my shovel from Home Depot because you know a bitch got a collection of shovels and shit from Home Depot from my Home Depot. Boo. Yes, ma'am. Yes, girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, girl. So anyway, what you the first step you need to take is you deal with a cell phone. That's what we also what we all do. The second we don't want to talk to a motherfucker no more. I'm gonna delete your ass out my phone. That's the first thing we do. Biggest mistake we make because I'm gonna tell y'all something. When Raquan calls us, Raquan's name used to pop up right here. Oh, that's Raquan. Hey, Raquan. But when Raquan be like, bitch, I don't want to be with you no more. And we delete Raquan from our phone. If we don't know, and it looks after you delete his name, the only thing that's going to pop up is the phone number, right? Now, we don't know nobody's phone number, okay? We may not know our mama's phone number, our daddy's phone number, grandmama's phone number, and the house phone. We may not know that shit by heart. But the one person's phone number we know by heart, heart, is our baby's phone number. When our breaker calls, we know his fucking phone number by heart. In case we end up with somebody else's phone, shit, we can call his ass right from somebody else's phone, no problem. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Raquan, you know what I'm saying? So the problem is that when we see that number pop up, it's familiar. It's still familiar. That's our braver. And we're going to answer no matter what with our dumb, hopeless asses. Hello? Hey? I'm alright. No, fuck that. What you do, you change his name in your phone. Don't delete him yet. Delete him will come in time. But you're going to change his name to do not answer. Some people like to do DNA. I don't feel like DNA has the same effect as do not answer. Because when do not answer pops up, that's like you popping up in your own phone like, bitch, don't answer this shit. You know what I'm saying? So change it to do not answer. That way you know when this motherfucker call, I don't need to talk to him. When he texts you, delete the texts as they come in. Do your best not to read them, okay? Do your best not to read a damn text he sent. Delete them as they come in. And keep it moving. The next step you're going to take is you're going to get rid of the shit that you accumulated during a relationship. Sometimes people like to trade jackets and shit. They want to trade class rings. Some people keep the the menus from the restaurants they go to or whatever. They have souvenirs from each date they've gone on. And they keep all the love letters. When that shit ends, the love letters and everything go inside of a garbage bag. You take that garbage bag outside and you put it in the trash outside. On the side of the house, side of your apartment, wherever the hell you live. You put it outside and bring your simple ass back upstairs. Now, some of y'all... Some of y'all will do that. Put it all in a bag and throw it outside, throw it in the trash. Come back upstairs, sit down in your damn bed for five, for about five or ten minutes. Brian, don't know what the fuck you talking about. I'm going to get my baby shit. And you get your ass up and do you run outside and go get the damn bag and bring it back in the house. If you're one of them people, get in your car, put the bag in the trunk with you. Get on the subway. Get on the subway. You take the subway. Take the bag on the subway with your ass. Put the bag in the front basket of your bicycle. 
and drive that shit, take that shit as far away from your house as possible and throw it in a dumpster where your simple ass can't get to it later on. That way it's gone. If you have, now see some of them requirements is crazy. Sometimes requirements is nuts. You know what I'm saying? And you got to give requirements shit back. If it's some shit that requires need back, sneakers, jackets, clothes, whatever the hell it may be, cell phones, just give them their shit back. Give them their shit back so that this could be done and over with. Put it in a bag. Have somebody call or Quan, have your sister take it over there. You know, go take this over to Quan's house and give him his shit back. Because I don't want nothing else to do with his ass. And give it back to him. You know what I'm saying? Another thing you need to do. See, for me, what I ended up doing during that period is I started making YouTube videos. My YouTube videos came out of me having, me being um, dumped, basically. I just started making YouTube videos. And it was like a way to uh, vent, to get things off my chest, to just talk, you know, and, and people would talk back to me. And that was my way of getting away and being creative and using, you know, shit that I can't think of right now. But anyway, you need to have some type of hobby. Find a hobby, find out what you like to do, and join a hobby. And join a hobby. This is where it's going to start getting fucked up. I'm telling y'all right now. It ain't going to be good from here on out. Because I don't ran out of shit to say. Like I was, It's not like I sat down and came up with shit to say about this video. I'm just like, I'm going to just start talking. And then whatever I come up with, is just going to be it. You know what I'm saying? My dumb ass. <sighs> Me and my videos. How much time I waste? Six minutes. I ain't even fucking close. We got plenty of time. <laughs> now let this be some shit that I really need to talk about. We ain't got no time left. But when I run out of shit to say, it be like in five minutes. Fuck. Okay. Another thing you should do is go on dates. Go on dates. Have sex. Because you need to get that first person under your belt. You know what I'm saying? You've been faithful to this. You've been faithful to Raquan all this time. After you and Raquan break up, within, I'm going to give you about two weeks. After two weeks, you need to just get some dick. Get some dick or just get some pussy. Just get some from somewhere. It ain't got to be somebody you in love with. You ain't got to see them the next day. But get that first motherfucker under your belt. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Raquan. So when people are like, who the last person you slept with? You know, be like, the last person I've been with was Raquan. You're like, last person I've been with was, um, uh, what the fuck was his name? You know what I'm saying? It should be like that. Okay? So get that first person under your belt. Go on a lot of dates. Go out. Go to the club. Get you some nouveau. Hang out with your friends. Hang out with your family. And also what you need to do is find out what happened during that relationship. You know what I'm saying? Why did I allow myself to be in a relationship like that? What was going on with me? Because a lot of times we don't like to turn and, turn and look at ourselves and see what the hell did we do? What was going on with us? That we allowed ourselves to be with somebody like Raquan, who didn't appreciate us for who we are and what we did for them. And that's a hard thing to look at, to turn around and say, okay, why did I put myself in that situation? What was going on with me? I've run out of things to say. I really wish I could edit my videos. That would be so much better. All right, so that's gonna be take one. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do another video about my fucking cousin, and then that's gonna be that. And.